All right, it's working. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm just going to show you a few of the basic functionality things with the site Orox. Orox is uh, been, you know, been, I've been using Orox for like a year now, at least, with my analysis, and I'm a real big fan. And uh, I've been working with them for a while, so I want to make that clear. Uh, I've been uh, working with the guys that created it, so I might have a little bias in my attitude, but it's a really good site, guys. Uh, I get two thumbs up. Uh, highly recommended from my end. But uh, there's a few things I wanted to show you guys. Uh, whenever you sign up for Orox, it's a little bit different than TradingView. There's a lot of things that are the same, and let's go over a set, some of the same stuff. Okay, so you got your time frames over here, right? You got your one hour. Click on that. Now you have one hour candles, okay? See, every one of those candles is one hour. This is your time frame, guys, right there. Let's go to the four hour. So now we have four hour candles. Every one of those is four hours. So that's like four of those last candles all combined into one candle. It's the data we have here. And these are all useful time frames. But the there's a few of them that I would I don't mean I didn't mean to click on one minute. I don't like one minute. It's too busy for me. Uh, there's your one week. With the one minute time frames, obviously. You see, this is incredible. Look at these. This is parabolic. Every time I see it, it's like, holy mama. But uh, it's just, it's uh, these time frames are the same as they are on TradingView. You got your candles. You want to see bars instead of candles, let's say. I mean, they're just a different way to draw the candles, guys. And uh, a lot of the info on those is useful if you want to use it that way. It just depends on how you read a chart. Uh, hollow candles. I don't know why that dog has to bark so much. Ugh. Uh... The up uptrend right here has just been incredible. These hollow candles just really, they don't hollow out the red. I guess they just hollow out the green. I don't like using stuff like that. I like to just use the, the basic, regular old candles right there. Now, you have a line. This is like a lot of people, you can see how parabolic this is from the line. A lot of people like to just turn the line on for certain, one reason or another. And sometimes it's useful. I'm not going to knock anybody's strategy. If they help, they help. Don't worry about what other people think. But all these are different. I mean, this has cut sort of the same. You see, I mean, nothing really changed. But uh, I'm going to stick with my candles, guys. That's what I like. Uh, the Hulk and Ashley candles right here. They are more of a trend base. You see how when you're going up, most of them are green. There is a one downhill here and one downhill here where it turns red. But ultimately, this has been a very bullish period right here if you look at the Helk and Ashy candles. And that's uh, uh, a lot of people I know use those candles. I think they like the way they look, but they don't really help me as much as they help them. So I like to stick with the regular candles myself. But uh, anyways, that's how you switch candles and stuff like that. Here's your indicators. Come in here. There's your advanced indicators. So you could turn your Aurox indicator on here and click there. And I already have it on, so I don't really need to turn it on. But uh, you come back to indicators. And there's your regular list of indicators here, just like on you know the other site. The, it's just like it. It's All your indicators are here. Anything you want to list here. You can put on the chart and you have, I don't know how many you can actually put on there, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least. And if you want to do that on trading view, you're going to have to pay a lot of money. Orox doesn't make you do that. Orox has a solid website and they give you access to many indicators without making you pay $50 a month, which is outrageous. Trading view is nowhere near worth $50 a month. Now that I'm going to get off my trading view, uh, hate, filled soapbox i really don't like them guys they really take advantage of people but uh, all of these uh are there's relative strength index uh you know all of these are the indicators i use i mean not all of them but I, you can find all of the indicators i use in here there's your advanced indicators you got all of these indicators that are going to probably be worth money eventually 9.99 you probably get that for your uh after you get your account or whatever, and once they start charging people, they'll probably charge a one-time fee of $10, and you get this forever. But it's free for right now. All of these are free. So now is the time to try out uh, Orox, guys. 
but it's just that's the basic stuff right there, guys. Uh, this right here. Let's say you do this. Okay, so I did that. Now I accidentally press delete. Wait a minute. Great. Now I don't want to work again. Here, let me refresh it. What a nightmare. I think as internet's freezing up, too many people are playing on the internet. Plus, I got YouTube blasting. So, you know how much data that takes up. Give me just a second, guys. It'll load right back up. It's frustrating. Bite my tongue. But, like, I wanted to show you guys how to, you say you do something you regret. Okay, I click that, delete. All right, it's gone. Oh, man, I didn't mean to delete it, though. Press this, and it came right back. So there you go. It's That's what that's for. It'll delete, and you can go forward, too, and take it back off. Backward delete. The more you do, let, let's say you do this, and this. I'm sorry, guys. This thing, thing won't click. Come on. Oh. All right, so we have that. All right, now I'm just trying to show you guys what uh, you can do, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and press delete, delete, and delete. Now, uh, let's say, oh, I didn't even want to delete those. One, two, three. There you go. They're all three back. Uh, it's just uh, one of the useful tools that come in handy whenever you're doing that now if you want to do what i just did right there that's another useful tool hold down control double click and drag and it'll drag uh it'll cover all of those and you can delete them all at one time that's what i like to do if i have a big cluster of stuff i want to get rid of so it's another useful thing you could do with orox it's like that on the other site too but uh the there's your share button. There's your settings, your charts. If you want to save, press Control S, and it'll save this layout. You can name it whatever you want. You know what I mean? And bam, there you go. You're saved. But uh, another thing, you want to change your pair. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't want to use Binance anymore, Tim. I want to see uh, a bigger chart. Binance only goes to 2017. Let's go to Bitfinex. That goes back farther than 2017, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, let's go to the USDT chart with Ethereum. There we go. So you see, that's how I changed it. I changed this and this, and now I have the chart right here. And this is a short chart. I thought it would be. I thought it would go low, back farther back, but this. Uh, but Bitfinex might not have had a USDT ETH pair for that long. It looks like since 2019 is when it started. But this is still useful information. But if you wanted to find a different uh, site, you're like, that's not enough info. I want to find a different site. So you could go to. You know, find one of these old sites that, uh, you know, Bitstamp, for instance. Bitstamp's been around for a good while. And uh, let's go with the USD ETH right there. So, I mean, that's how I change it. It's not hard. You can see I've been on this site before because I have, or I mean, been on this uh, chart before because I have those already made on there. And it's... Uh, the data on this is the one week chart. So let's go back as far as we can. See, this doesn't even go back as far as I wanted, but it goes back about the same as the Binance chart. But uh, this that's just as long as they've had the US dollar pairing, I guess, because if they had it anywhere before that, you would see the data before that. Now there's other sites that have that data, but not this one, for instance. You'll have to find a different, uh, a different exchange to use. But that doesn't mean that this data isn't useful, guys. It goes back all the way to 2017. And uh, you can see that uh, we had a big spike or whatever, and it's been pretty uh, accumulation. It looks like we're starting to take off here. But 
But that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is how to use the certain things on the chart that is uh, useful. And the pair editor is a big part of it, guys. So if you want to change back to... Let's go to... Let's change the... I'm going to change back to where we were at the beginning. Now I want to go to the Binance. It's going to clear out the thing. Now let's pick our pairing. Uh, I want to go with the USDT and a Bitcoin. So come down here. You got your... BNB, that's not what I'm looking for. There it is, BTC, USDT. That's the pairing I'm looking for. That's the one I share every day. So there we go. There, there's a chart you love to see, guys. Look at that rise right there. But uh, anyways, uh, it's pretty easy stuff, guys. It's not, it's just a little bit different than uh, the other guys. So, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do some of the basics. Uh, these are all your lines and stuff like that. I mean, uh, if you come over there and you pick that trend line, there you go. You got your trend line. Press delete. It's gone. Uh, if you want to fill in some text, click on that text bubble right there. And uh, right what you want and there you go it's very simple guys it's just trying to show you some of the basic things that come in handy this is a cool tool I showed you in a different uh, uh, different video but I'm going to show you just real quick come on I'm clicking on it there we go I don't know why it doesn't want to work sometimes all right, so now I'm on the top of that candle. You see how it sucks to the top of each one of those candles? Isn't that neat? That's the way the magnet works. It automatically sticks to the top of the candle or the bottom if you're underneath it. See what I mean? Now it's to the bottom. So this magnet comes in handy when you're doing a fib, especially because you want to be precise with your layouts, guys. And that's what the magnet's all about. And uh, anyways, there's a lot of useful things on the site uh, that... Are helpful guys if you hold down control and let's draw a line I did another video about this but I might as well cover it since I've already covered some of the other stuff all right there we go all right now hold control while you're on the uh, line right and double click now you have two lines so that's how you can duplicate something is hold control and double click almost everything on the chart except for maybe an indicator can be duplicated so that's what you need to do if you're really trying to make a uh, make a uh, identical line that's how you do it that angle is the same as this angle and it's going to be if you do it that way so hold control and double click if you want to get rid of this stuff control double click and drag here, I'm going to do it over here. There we go. See how I highlighted all three of those things? Now, delete. Bam. All of these are little tricks of the trade, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I, I meant to just show you guys some of the basic things. I don't want to get too deep into it. I'll make another video for some more content. But uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. And uh, Orox is a great site, so be sure to check it out guys it's a solid site ran by some solid dudes that know what they're doing and i'm very i've been very impressed with their progress since i've joined their uh ranks really i don't really work with them but uh, i do we do work together so i just want to get that make that perfectly clear but have a good day guys